camera holding the key to some damaging destruction. Take a look. This security footage showing how a fun night out at the Hollywood Casino Amphitheater led to a costly one. Police are now looking for the woman who keyed one man's Tesla, and he is not the only victim. New tonight at 630, News 4 Shoshana Stahl brings us that man's story and explains this seemingly petty act could drive costly for the victim and the suspect. We have rules, we have consequences for a reason, you know, to stop people from doing certain actions. Um, and especially when it comes to disrespecting other people's belongings and property. On Monday, Adam Mongol noticed a scratch on his car for the first time. I thought it was a spider web at first, maybe that had caked to the side. But I tried to rub it out, but it was it's a pretty deep scratch. Mongold says luckily enough for him, his car is a Tesla, which is equipped with security cameras. He looked through the video and found that exact moment caught on camera. I was fired up. <laughs> um, it took a while to find the actual clip where I, you know, I didn't, I thought I was going to see somebody scraping a watch or a handbag or something like that across it. But when I saw what looked like a pretty deliberate scratch and keying situation, I was, I was pretty enraged. It happened Friday night at the Hollywood Casino Amphitheater in Maryland Heights. Mongold was there for a country concert and now is paying the price. He wants the woman responsible for this to be held accountable. If you're going to do something like that and act like there's going to be no repercussions, uh, I think you, you'll do it again. You know, and if she faces consequences, some charges, gets banned from the amphitheater, whatever it takes, I think there needs to be, um, you know, something that sticks with her that she shouldn't be doing this to people. Keying someone's car is considered property damage here in the state of Missouri. The cost of repair determines the extent of the charge. Wash U Law Professor Peter Joy says if it's less than $750 worth of damage, that would make it a misdemeanor. Joy says if the damage is over $750, that would make it a Class E felony. Mongold thinks his repairs could cost around $1,000. The prosecutor still has the discretion to charge it as a misdemeanor uh, or a felony. Uh, so just because you meet the the threshold that doesn't force the prosecutor to charge it as a felony. So I think that would also depend on the background of the person who did it. And Joy says if someone is convicted, a judge could have them pay back the cost of those repairs. Shoshana Stahl, News 4. Mongold has filed a report with the Maryland Heights Police Department. He is asking anyone else who thinks they might have been a victim to also step forward.